Well, welcome to the follow-up after show, kind of by our web extra at the viewers. Uh, we kind of take the subject that we had in the, in the big show, and we uh, expand on it and talk about some other things. Our guests in the big show are still here for the after show. We've got Patrick Wright, Vice President of Legal Affairs at the Mackinac Center for Public Policy, and Bob Schneider, the Citizens Research Associate with the Citizens Senior Research Associate with the Citizens Research Council. Uh, during the bulk of the big show, we talked about the 2015 tax cut relief uh, law and, and the lawsuit that that's ongoing. We're going to go on a different take now. Uh, so, Bob, talk to me about the, the, the uh, Citizens Research Council, the work that you do, but also specifically, um, I read some of it, and you have a podcast. It's a five-part report on sort of Michigan's future, an economic forecast yep. a little bit. Tell us yep. about that. Yeah. Um, so uh, the Citizens Research Council, we're, 100, we're 106 years old now in, in, in Michigan. Uh, we started as a, uh, as a research entity kind of focused on Detroit. Um, uh, and uh, in the 1950s, we became kind of a statewide, uh, you know, nonprofit uh, you know, think tank, um, and we're, we're very proud. We're, uh, uh, you know, as a good source of independent, uh, independent analysis. Um, I think some of our, uh, maybe your view, hopefully some of your viewers have seen we, we regularly put out, uh, for instance, when there are ballot initiatives, the la latest round of uh, uh, constitutional amendments that were before the voters try to give a layman's explanation of, you know, what does this mean? How is it going to affect you? What do you need to know about the proposals? Um, those, those are really popular. And, and thank you. You mentioned um, the, the series that we just finished. We had a, a, a five-part research uh, a set of research reports uh, was the Citizens Research Council along with a, uh, an Ann Arbor-based um, health policy organization, Alterum. Um, we got funding from the uh, Council of Michigan Foundations, and, and we kind of looked at um, Michigan's future trajectory in the economy, health, uh, in health, our population. You know, our population is, uh, is stagnant. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if we look kind of 30 years ahead, all of our population growth is really in the 65 and old, older, yeah. particularly 75 and older crowd. So we have some challenges there. Um, we talked about, uh, you know, our economic and, and uh, uh, future of economic and workforce <laughs> talent. Um, you know, Michigan, nationally, we've seen like college, uh, college degree attainment rates nationally kind of going up slowly. But in Michigan, it's, it's slower than the, than the nation. Um, we're, we, you know, we have a, a smaller portion of our population with a college degree, and the data show you know, college degree attainment. Uh, the states that do the best, the states with the highest real per capita income, they're generally the states that have the highest proportion of, of, of college graduates because those, sure. those high-paying jobs are, are generally now uh, going to be t tied to, to um, uh, you know, high skill, high sure. skilled employment. Um, you know, we looked at health care, looked at infrastructure, not just road infrastructure, but water and sewer, and, and revealed, you know, Michigan's going to have some challenges going forward. Sure. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we now have, uh, you know, Governor Whitmer has is, is, is launched a, a population based work group to kind of, uh, I, I think, building off maybe right. some of the results of our report to look at, well, how does Michigan? face uh, those challenges going forward. Um, and we, we're, 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 this was all hands on deck, I think, at the yeah, Citizens sure. Research Council. All our analysts were involved, and we're, we're pretty proud of, uh, of, the out, uh, of the outcome and the findings. We think it's really helped um, uh, people think about uh, some of the challenges that Michigan faces. So. It's a good read. You also have a podcast, and you can refer to your website to get that information. Yep, in crcmich.org. So, and read your yeah. work. Patrick, your turn at the Mackinac Center. Uh, I know you yep. do a lot of the legal affairs work. Uh, got plenty of things going on there. <laughs> yes. Uh, you want to pitch a little bit on some of that? Sure. Uh, we've been around for a mere 36 years. Okay. Uh, we were 1987, actually uh, started up in Midland and still are there. We have a, a new office um, down in, in Lansing as well doing public policy research. Um, it's branched out a little bit. We're um, you know, we used to just write white papers. We now do a little bit of reporting. Uh, obviously, we do lawsuits. Um, we still have policy experts try and get to the to Lansing and, and give our opinions. Occasionally, we're calling each other and, and talking about some of this stuff that, that's going on in Lansing as well. So, um, you know, where our other lawsuits? Some of them we're looking at uh, school financing. With uh, is there school choice and 
Michigan's constitution is um, we're involved in the student loan lawsuits uh, against the Biden administration. There's um, two of them that are currently ongoing and there was a big one that had come out from the Supreme Court this year. So we're trying to keep busy and, and uh, lead to uh, create better public policy here in the state of Michigan and, and uh, so that we can all lead uh, freer and happier lives. Well, you both are doing great work, important work. I know it resonates with our, uh, resonates with, with our viewers here on the follow-up, and we appreciate the information. And as we close the uh, after show, uh, you can take a look at their uh, Citizens Research Council, crcmich.org, and the Mackinac Center for Public Policy. You can see their website. So Patrick Wright, Bob Schneider, thanks for coming in. It was, uh, it was a good discussion tonight. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Appreciate and thank it. you for joining us on the after show.